Hey, welcome back. So in this lecture, let's spend some time in order to understand the CAN H and CAN N signals. Those are differential signals produced by the CAN transceiver. Now differential signaling is a method of data communication which uses two complementary signals. So you can even learn more about differential signaling using this wiki page. Okay, so how it is done, everything. So it is clearly mentioned in this document. But take a look into this picture. The above picture is a single-ended data communication where a line goes high and the receiver interprets that as the logical one state and when the signal goes ground that is zero volt then the receiver interprets that as logical zero. That's how data communication takes place in a single-ended communication. But take a look into the second diagram which employs two complementary voltage signals in order to transmit one information. So which is called as differential signals. Now for example in order to send logical one signal one becomes let's say plus 5 volt and signal two becomes complementary of that that is minus 5 volt and the receiver considers the difference between these two signals voltage levels okay and that happens to be plus 10 volt and that is considered as logic one by the receiver so even if noise added to this signaling so the noise will get added equally to the signal so anyway the receiver is going to consider the difference of that so that's why the noise cancelling will happen automatically and that is the biggest advantage of the differential signaling and as I said, the receiver extracts the information by detecting the potential difference between inverted and the non-inverted signals. And to send logical zero, signal one becomes minus five volt and signal two becomes plus five volt. And the difference is now minus 10 volt, isn't it? And that is considered as logical zero by the receiver, okay? So that's how the differential signal works and uh, you can, as i said go through this document if you want to know more about the differential signaling okay and this is not only used by can this is used in usb rs485 rs235 and in many application area so this is used as the physical medium so in single ended signal communication logical zero means zero volt logical one means let's say five volt or 3.3 volt now, but in differential signaling, logical zero means, let's say, minus 10 volt, and logical one means plus 10 volt, okay? It's like that, all right? Great, so now let's see how the differential signal is used in CAN bus. 